Hi, I'm Jeff Fardwell, Arena and Properties Manager for the City of Concord. And today we're here to talk about ice making. The Everett Arena offers ice skating activities from mid-September to mid-March and dry floor events such as home shows and antique shows from mid-March to the first week in September. Changing over from dry floor events to ice skating takes about 20 days. The process begins the day after our last show. We start by cleaning the concrete rink floor with a walk-behind floor scrubber. This is done several times to get the floor as clean as possible and to create a good bond with the ice. The refrigeration system is started and we begin the process of slowly cooling the concrete slab from about 75 degrees to 16 degrees. We lower the temperature about 4 degrees a day until we reach the ice making temperature of 16. While the floor temperature is cooling, staff installs the rink boards. Three quarters of the boards are taken down at the end of the ice skating season each year for dry floor events. Each panel weighs about 200 pounds and is brought out of storage from the locker rooms. The panels are bolted together, leveled, and bolted to the floor. Once the dasher boards are installed, the dasher glass is installed on top. Then the safety netting and rubber matting. By this time in the process, the floor temperature has reached 16 degrees and we are ready for the ice installation. We start by putting down a quarter inch of ice with a Zamboni. Next is the application of the white base which is sprayed on by a golf cart buggy that has a sprayer and a 90 gallon container for the ice paint. The ice paint is a white biodegradable powder that is mixed with water and sprayed onto the ice. Once the white base is installed, we are ready to paint the lines and circles of the hockey rink. We start by stretching blue yarn across the blue lines on each edge and freeze it in with a backpack sprayer. We do the same thing with the centered line and gold lines with red yarn. begins painting the blue lines while the layout crew continues with the face-off dot locations. is a broken line and we use a template to trace out a diamond pattern. Gold pieces are laid out next followed by the painting of the end zone circle for the paint stick.
center circle is completed by scribing a 30-foot circle from the center dot, and that is painted blue. The face-off marks are completed along with lettering and drop-in logos. The next step in the process is to start building ice. We use garden hoses and spray the water building up the ice one thin layer at a time. After two and a half days of spraying, we bring out the Zamboni and start flooding using the ice making water. During both of these phases, we apply the water so it freezes almost instantly. This is done so that the ice creates a strong bond and limits the amount of oxygen in the ice. Continue flooding with the Zamboni for three days until we have about an inch to an inch and a quarter of ice. At this point, we're ready for some skating. So that's how the ice is installed. Be sure to come by and check us out at 15 Loudon Road or check us out online. Thanks for watching.